surprised I actually hit that one. Where is the Shazam for? I can't. Oh, and I can't switch characters either. I wanted to try Tartaglia. Um, because he's taller. He has longer legs, so he can move around faster. That was unexpected. But an unfortunate side effect to him being taller is the fact that he is taller. His head is hitting so many of these kaboom balls. And it is actually becoming a problem. what 
this means. There have been a couple references in the recent events to these Serenity bots. So I'm very curious to see exactly what the deal is with them. green <laughs> like a, a pistachio ice cream I 
this child surprised at how planned she looks for this game. But it certainly would have been less, uh, embarrassing for you. Allow me to introduce myself once more. Okay. A legal advisor. A legal advisor. Come right to me. Oh, yes. Here, type this this card. You'll find it has my contact details and office address. Keep it handy. Okay, so she's a pyro character. Interesting. Is this a playable character? I don't think she is.
orgasm. Oh, I would love that. Naya. Oh. Oh, oh no. Crossel. Crossel. A Snezhnaya merchant who once originated some legal queries on certain articles in the legal code of things. If my memory serves, all of them have to do with rare ores. He mentioned that he was considering acquiring some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins and wanted to know if there were any legal ramifications <sighs> that he should be aware of. Said he was planning to sell them to Snezhnaya. We gotta go beat him up. Bring us here today. Here too, guys. I was simply doing my job. Now, I believe that the last time we met, you mentioned that you were looking to source some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins. Have there been any further developments on this front? <sighs> like 90% of this episode is just going to be mouth sounds.
this. This is the part where we say we can help. Would you really? I think it's a mission to the Adventurers Guild, but I have We're not in the Adventurers Guild, I don't think. Are we? Hold on. Don't run off looking for the hairpins just yet. You've missed your chance. Would you let me have a look at the rental contract you signed? Huh? Well, I'm not uh -oh. sure. Even higher. 
huge sum of money, though. However much it is, I will have to pay it. My family are merchants, after all. It's vital that we keep our word and protect our cargo. Now that he's come to this, I really shouldn't keep Crosso in the dark any longer. I'll go and inform him of the issue, and then... You can't... You've got a contract. You can't negotiate the contract. Something to matter. No, it's nothing. I just need to re examine a few things. Let's go over to Mr. Cross's. Okay. It would have been better if we just used our, our elemental site to search for them. Crossel, you. He looks weird. He has very tiny eyes for, for this game. Search. Oh, yes. And I may just confirm again. It was in fact the genuine Snorikus Jade I inlaid into the hairpins, correct? Of course. The genuine article guaranteed for I paid back ten times the value. Alright, understood. I'll conduct some market research, and once I've done it, I'll provide an official assessment of the sum owed by Mr. Chow in compensation. Please wait here, Mr. Crossel. is telling me to go somewhere else. No, that's a shame. Would have been funny if you could actually pick exactly which seat you wanted to talk at. and games are always so nice. It's difficult to go wrong with a sky and just throw a bunch of colors up there and a bunch of stars. what it is 
were members of the guild, I think. Such an ordeal. Alright, got to do it. My 
processes or Shinto, the boss of the Jade Mystery. exactly how to make an episode out of this game with 